I'm going to record this one. All right, welcome everyone. Happy Sunday, or whatever day it is for you, we're recording. So <laughs> this is Vinyasa Flow, 45 minutes. Welcome, Denise. Welcome, Amanda, Linda, Allison. We're going to start on the floor. We're going to start with a little core work, but first some breathing. So come on to your back. And this is a 45 minute class. Feel free to stay as long as you like, of course, always. But we're just going to start on our back here with the knees bent. Bringing the ankles below the knees. And then we're going to place one hand over the belly and one hand over the heart chest. And just start to breathe here, feeling the breath underneath your hands. As the air enters the lungs, we feel that movement in the chest and the belly. And then as we release the air, we can just let the lungs deflate and the belly almost like a balloon deflating. So just being really aware of the breath here, feeling it underneath the hands as we settle in onto our back. Welcome, welcome everyone. Welcome Stacy, you Linda and your pretty tree. Perfect, yep, just take some breaths here. And we'll take about another minute or so just focusing on our breath. And then we'll slowly start to move from our position here on the floor. This is how I used to start a lot more majority of my classes, especially when we were in the park for some reason. This always reminds me of being yoga in the park, taught it for many years in Mammoth. But it's a great way to just breathe, feel the ground. And then we're gonna start with some core work here and just a few more breaths. So if you're just joining, we're just placing our hands over our belly and over our heart, feeling the breath. We'll just take another couple breaths here. And then we'll go ahead and release those hands and <clears throat> knee by knee, hugging those knees into the chest. And we'll just start to rock a little side to side, giving the lower back a little massage here. We might make some circles with the knees. Circling both directions. We might wiggle out the toes, move the feet around. And then go ahead and release, bringing the soles of the feet together. We're coming into a supine butterfly and we're gonna take it into some butterfly crunches here. So soles of the feet come together, knees wide. We'll take our hands to the back of the head, elbows wide, and just a simple crunch here with the legs in that butterfly position. So just lift and lower, lifting up through the chin chest rather than the, letting the head lead, lifting up through that heart space, throat, and then start to hug the belly in as we lift up. Just a few more here. And then feel free to stay here or we're gonna add a little challenge by lifting the feet off the floor. Still pressing the soles of the feet into each other. Keeping that crunch. Third option is to bring the knees in towards the elbows. So we're hugging, crunching everything into center and release. So getting more into the lower belly, pelvic floor that way. So wherever you are, let's do another eight. 
seven, six, five. Ooh, really warming up the core here. Four, welcome everyone coming in. Three, yes, beautiful. Two, and a one, release. Hug those knees into the chest, rock it out side to side. Great way to warm up. Now let's get into some bicycles. So hands to the back of the head, lift those the head, shoulders. We take opposite elbow to knee and extend. We'll take this a slow bicycle. So really lift those shoulders up. Yep, nice and slow, like we're moving through mud. <laughs> Keep it here for three, two, one. Now keep it slower. Let's pick it up for 10. Nine, eight, run it out. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower the head, hug those knees in. Oh, take a breath, take a sigh. Now this next one is an option. We're gonna roll like a ball. So rolling along the spine and coming into a seated position, making our way into boat. So those knees are hugging in. We can find a little momentum. And then we'll roll up. We can do this three times. And then we'll find our boat position. Coming up onto the back of the sit bones, we'll lift the shins. Maybe just keep the toes down here, lift the heart. Maybe extend the arms. Three, two, one. Feel free to just stay upright or we're gonna roll like a ball three times. Here we go, three. Use the core to control the movement, two. And one, come back up, find your boat, maybe straight legs. Maybe we lift the feet off the floor, hold there. We're gonna do this one more time, three, two, one. Roll like a ball for three. Kind of fun to play around here, two. And one, come back up, final boat right here. Lift the heart, belly in, three, two, Yes, friends, and one, cross those legs. Let's make our way into a down dog. So you could jump back or just step it back, find that down dog or child's pose here, either or. In our down dog, we might pedal out the feet as we come into this, settle into. Adha Mukha Savasana down dog. Spread those fingers super wide. <clears throat> Take the shoulder blades wide on the back. So we're creating space for the neck to go long, the spine to extend. You can bend the knees slightly in that down dog, lengthening through the spine even more. Couple more breaths here. Gaze is back, back of the neck long. And you better believe we're gonna stretch that belly out <laughs> after that core work. So on your next inhale, come forward into plank. And then let's exhale, lower down to the belly. Feel free to lower the knees first. So take it all the way down and then lift up into cobra. So that chest lifts a little bit or maybe a lot of it. Pressing into the hands, hug the elbows in, lift the heart forward. Let's take the gaze over the right shoulder. Welcome, if you're just coming in, center over the left shoulder. One more time each side, press into those hands, hug those elbows in, right shoulder, center, left shoulder, center, and release the chest. Press up and back, down dog or child's pose. Take a few breaths right there. Whew, feeling those push-ups from Lauren's class this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling those in the arms. All right, if you're in child's pose, make your way to down dog. From down dog, we'll inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, walk the feet forward to meet the hands coming into ragdoll. So feet come apart, knees bent, let the head go, or feel free to keep the head lifted, elbows on the top of the thighs. We're hanging low here with this. The head is hanging low. We can grab opposite elbows. Maybe find a little movement here, side to side, front to back. 
Couple more breaths. And then we'll bend the knees a lot. Roll up to standing. Hug the chin into the chest as you make your way up, rolling up the spine. All right, welcome everybody. Happy Sunday. We're gonna start here with the Samastitihi. So bringing the palms together in front of the heart, bring the feet a little closer together, and then we'll move with some sun salutations. This is vinyasa flow. We usually get the sun salutations in. So feel free to modify as if you need. You could do cat cow instead coming to the knees. So here we go, let's do it with the breath. One breath, one movement as best we can. Let's take those arms up as you inhale, reach up, look up. As you exhale, we'll swan dive. Feel free to bend the knees slightly, swan dive into a forward fold. We'll inhale, halfway lift, hands to the shins or fingertips to the floor, flat back there, and then exhale, plant the hands, step back into our plank. Feel free to lower the knees or we'll take it all the way down to the belly for this first one. Cobra, as you inhale, heart lifts. Maybe we come a little higher than that first one. And then up and back to our down dog or child's pose. Breathe, three full breaths. So again, instead of those chaturangas, we could just take it to a tabletop position. Lift up through cat and cow, round the back. Just that movement in the spine is a great way to reset and get that similar movement motion to the vinyasa. One more full breath here. And then on your next inhale from down dog, gaze forward, exhale, walk, step or jump the feet to meet the hands, halfway lift, forward fold. We rise up to standing, roll up or flat back. And let's release those hands again in front of the heart. We're gonna take it into round two. Keep it moving. Here we go. Inhale those arms up. One breath, one movement. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, plant the hands, step back. Chaturanga, those elbows hug in, heart forward. Cobra or up dog, heart lifts. Maybe those thighs lift. Down dog or child's pose, take it up and back, breathe. We do have solstice coming up. The really um, popular theme at solstice time is to do a hundred, what, 108 of these sun salutations. <laughs> we won't do that many today, but we are gonna get a few in. All right, let's inhale, gaze forward from your down dog. Exhale, walk, step or jump the feet to meet the hands, halfway lift. Forward fold. Rise up to standing, roll up or flat back. Release those hands in front of the heart. Let's do round three. We won't do 108. This will be our final one here. Inhale those arms up. Exhale, swan dive fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step back into our plank, chaturanga, or your cat cow. Up dog or cobra, open the chest. Oh, down dog or child's pose, take it back, breathe. Great way to get the heart pumping, the body moving. And that movement to breath is a great way to just keep our mind focused right here, right now. Rather than all the presents we need to wrap or the to-do list, the presents we need to go by. Or whatever you're doing for Christmas, the holiday. All right, next inhale, gaze forward. Walk, step or jump the feet to meet the hands, halfway lift. Forward fold, we'll rise up to standing, roll on up or flat back and release those hands. Whew, great job. All right, we're moving on to sun salutation B. So that begins with a chair, Uttakasana. So sit back into our imaginary chair. We'll take this a little slower. 
cactus arms could work here. We're gonna add on a little too. So bring those hands together in front of the heart here. Inhale, let's add this twist. Exhale, twist to the right. You might hook the elbow here. We might open the arms, sink the weight into the heels for three. Maybe lift the gaze up, two and a one. Back to center, our chair, you could take those arms up. And then let's take it to the other side, twist. Hands in front of the heart and then rotate to the left. Maybe hook that elbow, weight in the heels. Maybe open the arms, lift the gaze for three, two, and a one. Come back to center. Let's straighten those legs, reach the arms up, slight back bend here. So lift the heart up and back, and then we'll swan dive forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step back, chaturanga. Up dog or cobra. Down dog, press it back from your down dog. Right leg lifts, inhale. Exhale, step the foot forward. Here's our option. You can do crescent lunge, stay on the ball of the back foot, or that back foot comes flat, angled out for warrior one. So come on up. You could also just have that back knee down in a lunge or back leg straight, back foot flat. Beautiful. Sink into that front knee. Lift the gaze here. Palms maybe come together. Let's take one more breath. Inhale. Exhale. Hands come down. Step back into plank. Chaturanga. Or just meet us in down dog. Cobra or up dog, open that chest. Down dog, press back. Let's take it to the other side, left leg lifts. Exhale, step the foot forward. Crescent lunge or warrior one, come on up. Couple breaths here as we find our feet, find what works best for our body today or in general. Inhale here, lift up, reach up or look up, reach up is what I meant to say. Exhale, hands come down. Step back into our plank, chaturanga. Up dog or cobra, heart lifts. Down dog or child's pose. This is our opportunity to rest. So breathe, check in, rest the body for a few moments. If you're in child's pose, make your way to down dog. We'll inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, walk, step or jump the feet to meet the hands, halfway lift. Forward fold, rising up into our chair as we inhale, Woo. exhale, straighten the legs, hands in front of the heart. Great job. Okay, we're gonna pick this up. One breath, one movement, sun salutation B. Here we go, all of that. With the breath, we'll inhale, chair. Take it into our twist, hands together, twist right, exhale, just for the exhale. Back to center as you inhale. Twist to the left, exhale. Inhale, rise up, maybe a slight back bend here. Exhale, swan dive fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, walk, step or jump back, chaturanga. Up dog or cobra, heart lifts. Down dog, press back, keep it moving. Right leg lifts, inhale. Exhale, step the foot forward. Crescent lunge or warrior one, rise up. One big inhale as we come up. One long exhale as you take those hands down, step back, chaturanga. Up dog, cobra, beautiful. Yes, there is other sun salutations besides A and B. There's C, which is more lungy. And I think I did that. Yeah, I did that this uh, similar, I think this week. I did something similar, but we'll, we'll do that, Ellen. We'll do the C. Not today, maybe, but another day. 
All right, where are we at? Left leg lifts, inhale. Sorry, I got distracted. Exhale, step that foot forward. If you haven't gone to the other side, you lunge your warrior one. We got a little extra rest there. Step back. And then our down dog. Beautiful. All right, we're gonna do one more time through. Do your best. Let's take it forward on your next inhale. Gaze forward. Walk, step, or jump the feet to meet the hands. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Rise up into your chair. Inhale. Release those hands in front of the heart. Exhale. All right, let's do one more round. You got it. One breath, one movement. Here we go. Chair. Inhale. Take it into that twist. Palms together. Exhale. Twist right. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist left. Inhale, center. Reach those arms up. Straighten the legs. Slight back bend. And then we exhale, fold. Ooh, break in a sweat here. Halfway lift. Inhale. Exhale, plant the hands. Step back. Chaturanga. Up dog or cobra. Down dog. Press it back. Right leg lifts. Inhale. Exhale, step the foot forward. Warrior one or crescent lunge, rise on up. And release, hands come down, step back. Chaturanga, up dog. This is our last side here. We should be good and warm. Left leg lifts, inhale from down dog. Exhale, step the foot forward. Warrior one or crescent lunge, rise on up. And then lower those hands down. Step back, chaturanga, up dog cobra. Let's everyone take it into child's pose. Oh, great job. Woo. Forehead to the floor, the back of the hands. Feel that heart pump in there. Some salutation B does get it going. Yes, and we can definitely take those sun salutations to the wall. or keep it in on the floor, do the cat-cow. Thanks, Rochelle, Rochelle's in the house. Hey, everyone. All right, we're gonna move on here. So from your child's pose, come on up to your down dog. Right leg lifts, inhale, exhale. Step the foot forward. We're gonna come up into warrior two. So back foot flat, come on up. Arms extend, reaching forward and back. Sinking into that front knee here, gazing over the front fingers. So it's a bit of a turn. That back shoulder is stacking over the back hip. Sinking into that front knee a little more as we open it up to the right. One more breath here. And then inhale, straighten that front leg. We're gonna take it into triangle here. Back foot comes in an inch for two. That right hand reaches forward and then lower the hand down to the shin, to the ankle, or maybe to a block on either side of the, the ankle or leg. That top arm reaching up. So imagining we have our back, our shoulders to the back, Ah, to the wall, so our back against the wall. There we go. <sighs> yep, so that top shoulder is really opening. We might lift the gaze, hold. Strong in the legs for three, two, and one. Engage the core as we lift up. We'll reverse our triangle, so keep the legs as they are. Just that right arm starts to reach up. Might look up, lengthen through the right side body here. One more inhale. And exhale, bend that front knee, release the hands. Let's just step it back into down dog. Feel free to take a chaturanga. We did get quite a few of them. So we're resting our shoulders unless you wanna get one in here. All right, other side from your down dog, left leg lifts, inhale. Exhale, step the foot forward. Come on up into warrior two, other side. I'm gonna flip it around so I see you here. Yes, perfect. 
sinking into that front knee, open to the left, lengthening the arms forward and back. So we don't wanna to reach too far forward or too far back. Find that center right here at present. One more breath. Next inhale, we'll straighten the front leg, back foot in, an inch or two and trikonasana triangle, that left hand reaches, maybe lower down to the shin or ankle, right arm extends up. So again, our back against the wall, imagine that. And this is great to do against the wall if you have the space or the option. Maybe lift the gaze here, a couple more breaths. Engage the core as you lift up. <laughs> Reverse our triangle, left arm reaches. So legs stay as they are. Find some length here, look up, reach up. Inhale. Exhale, bend that front knee, plant the hands forward. Chaturanga, or just step it back into our down dog. <sighs> Breathe here. Take this moment to rest, check in. On your, your next inhale from down dog, we'll gaze forward, exhale, walk, step or jump the feet to meet the hands, halfway lift, forward fold, rise on up, roll up or flat back, we're going to work some balance up here at standing. We're going to do eagle balance. So we're going to find our chair again here. Maybe find a wall if you need a little assistance with your balance. Sinking into our imaginary chair. We're going to extend that right leg out and then lift up and over. Maybe taking the toes to the floor here as a kickstand, which is great. Or maybe the fo foot is floating a little bit or we start to bring that foot back behind the calf or in that direction. And then let's take those arms out, inhale, right arm underneath left, hands can come to the shoulders here or wrapping those arms around eagle arms, elbows lift in line with the shoulders. And then we sink into those legs. Beautiful. Gaze is around the arms somehow, <laughs> one side or the other. Bringing your gaze to one point can really help our balance. Couple more breaths. And then we're just gonna release, keep the arms as they are. We're just gonna release this right leg and step it back into a lunge. So eagle arms with our step back lunge, stay here or Lift those elbows up, coming into a slight back bend. Eagle arm lunge. Here we go for three, two, and a one. Lower those arms, step the back foot in, and we'll release. Whew, great job, shake it out. We'll take it to the other side, roll out those shoulders. Here we go, sink into our chair. Other side here, let's see, we did right last time. So left, up and over, toes to the floor or working that foot back, extend those arms out, inhale. Left arm underneath.
Sorry, y'all. He's still holding it. You're amazing. It just popped off, but I sh it should be good now. I switched it. Yes, for three. We're going to keep the arms as they are. Two and a one. Arms as they are. Just stepping that top leg back into our lunge. Maybe even coming onto the back knee. We'll lift those elbows up. Lift the gaze for three. Back bend with those eagle arms. Two. And a one, release the arms, step it forward. Woo, fly our eagle <laughs> and release. Great job. All right, let's take it back to the floor. We're gonna get into some more hips here, outer hips rather. Take those arms up as you inhale. We'll vinyasa to the floor, exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step back, chaturanga. Up dog or cobra, down dog, press back, right leg lifts, inhale. We're gonna take it into half pigeon. Feel free to come to a seated for uh, figure four or figure four on the back. And I'll show you that option. First pigeon, we're taking the right shin forward, lowering down, extend that left leg back, sitting up tall, squaring the hips, the shoulders. Or we could be seated in this figure four position, same stretch, or on the back uh, with the same figure four. Can y'all hear me okay? Okay, <laughs> perfect. Feel free to start to lower forward with the chest. If you're in pigeon, maybe coming down to the forearms. Maybe a block underneath the forehead or the hands, fists, as we make our way lower. Breathe here. This outer hip, the glutes can become so just tight. Especially all the squats and lunges we do around here. So this is a great way to stretch and release. Spending some time here breathing. And we'll just take another five breaths or so. And then on your next inhale, go ahead and start to make our way up. If you've come forward, make your way to your forearms, your hands. We'll tuck the back toes under, extend that right leg back, shake it out. If you're seated or on your back, we're just gonna take it right to the other side. So figure four or our pigeon on the other side. So here we go. If you're in down dog, left leg lifts, inhale. Exhale, that shin comes forward. Back leg extends, back square the hips, the shoulders, sit up tall. Maybe start to come forward if you want a little more here to the palms, to the forearms. You can always support the head. Always a fan of supporting our head when we can in any of these it brings us just maybe a little more release for the nervous system, giving that extra support. 
So we're not holding up this heavy head as we, as we try to release throughout the hips. It's all connected. Keep the breath flowing, moving. Especially as we're releasing those hips, that emphasis on the exhale. Few more breaths here. And on your next inhale, start to come up, make our way to the palms, tuck the back toes under and extend that leg. So we are coming on to our back next. If you're already on your back, you could just stay there. We'll meet you there. Or from this down dog, you can just start to walk the feet towards the hands, maybe little baby, feet are what are these called baby steps there we go <laughs> engaging the core and then we'll make our way to our seat there we go come on to the back hug the knees into the chest we are right where we began full circle no more core though don't worry <laughs> we're stretching from here on out so go ahead and keep the right knee hugging in. We're gonna extend the left leg long. Take an inhale here, supine twist. Exhale that right knee over to the left. Now, if this is gonna to be too much of a twist, bring both knees in and take both knees over to the left. Reach back through that right arm, gaze right. Or the single knee you might place a block or cushion underneath the knee. And just settle in here to our twist. Close the eyes. If that's comfortable and just breathe. Couple more breaths on this side. And then we'll inhale to get back to center and just switch it out. Left knee comes in, right leg extends. Maybe both knees stay into the chest. We're taking that variation, other side. Inhale here, exhale, left knee or both knees over to the right. Reach back through that left arm.
breathe here. If you're part of the We Fit Connect, we do have Manifest Monday tomorrow. It'll be a 15 minute um, either meditation, mindfulness, yoga nidra, something of that sort. So if you're part of the Connect, make sure to join us tomorrow for that. It's on the schedule. That's part of our We Fit Connect, our new our newness coming in to the new year around here. More connection, going a little deeper. On your next inhale, we'll take everything back to center here and then just make our way into our final position, our Shavasana, our rest taking this time to just really integrate our 45 minute practice here today. We did uh, movement with the sun salutations, breath. Some great core work, balance. Pretty much covered it all. I did want to get an arm balance, but that's okay. We'll get it next time. We'll just take one more breath here together. Inhale. Exhale. Settle in. Close the eyes. Giving yourself the gift of this quiet stillness. Hopefully it's quiet around you. And we'll just be here together another minute or so. Another bonus of the 45 minute class is we get this great rest at the end that maybe we maybe rush in the other shorter classes. So enjoy, relax. Let go. Gonna go ahead and leave you here if you'd like to stay here a little longer. When you're ready to get up, get up nice and slow. And have a great Sunday, everyone. Happy holidays. Namaste. We'll see you soon. <laughs>